Yo, yo. So today we start with suffixes. Suffix. So we will read this and then I will explain more. A suffix is a word part added to the end of a word to change its meaning. So suffix words is a word part added to the end of a word to change its means. meaning. So it's part of a word. Knowing some common suffixes can help you to figure out the meanings of unfamiliar words. Knocking counts, comments, suffixes can help you to figure out the meaning of unfamiliar words. Hmm. This word is unfamiliar. Unfamiliar. Unfamiliar, yes. It means it's the opposite of familiar. So something you do not know. Something you have never seen before. Unfamiliar. Hmm. Unfamiliar. Unfamiliar. Mm -hmm. Let me make it fast. So unfamiliar. Unfamiliar. Very good. Very good. And then it says, look at the suffixes below. Look at the suffixes below. And we have ly. L-Y And it means Done in the way of Down in the way of but That's usually for an adverb So we have Quickly Quickly Slowly Slowly Those are two examples L-Y I V E I V -E. related or belonging to Brownian uh, Brownian hmm. to related related hmm. or Brownian to Do you know expensive? Expensive uh, is not. Uh, mm, yeah, I know. Uh, expensive. Mm, it the money is not to be hmm. heavy. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of money. Yes. we say in America? Expensive. <laughs> and this one more. This word you may not know, but it's a good example for this one. Vegetable. Vegetable. 
I did it. It means like a vegetable, plants. Yeah. It belongs to the veggies. <laughs> belongs to the veggies. Mm. Oh, yeah. And then we have the last one. Four. Four. Four of or chalk. Chocolate spy. Characterize. Characterize. This makes a k sound. Characterize. Characterize. Mm, good job. It's like a, you know, like characters and a book. Characters. Characters. A characters. Eyes. Good job. And let's see. We have beautiful. 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 Um, the only thing I could think of was doubtful. Doubtful. Do you know doubt? Doubt? No. Let's see if I can find another word. Doubt is when, here, I'll just explain. A new word. Doubt is when you question something. Like okay. you think somebody might be wrong. Of double. D O U B L E double. Mm, I know doubt. That. Doubt, doubt. Is, doubt is a verb. So, verb. if you say, you think, the sun is very cold. And I say, I doubt that. I think you're wrong. Oh, you don't uh, write my uh, my thing, my idea. Yes, but you're being nice. Okay. So I doubt that. Like, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I know. So doubtful is full of doubt. So it takes the verb and makes it an adjective. Adjective. Mm. Okay. So suffix is something suffix. you add to the end of a word to change the meaning. So ly usually, not always, usually makes um, a word into an adverb. 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 Okay. This can change an into an adjective. These are usually, it usually changes a verb or a noun. A verb or noun. So like we said, doubt. Doubt. Is a verb or a noun. And then doubt is an adjective. Doubt for. So it changes what the word means and how you use it. Um, down to uh, use it. Do you remember when we talked about prefix? Prefix. Hmm. Um, you said reread. Reread. Remember? Yes. Yeah. Agree. Agree. Means read again. Yeah. Read, read. read again. And re is a prefix. Prefix. Pre pre prefix. Means it goes before the word. Before the word. It's not read, read. 
Read, 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 read. Yes. So suffix goes at the end of the word. End of word. The beginning of the word. Repeat. Read. Repeat. Repeat. Repeat so hard. Doesn't have a prefix. Repeat. So those are prefix. It goes before. See? Re. Repeat. Re. Right. Re. Re. Repeat. Repeat. goes at the end of the word. Quick. Q-U-I-E-T. And you add this to the end and it becomes what? What does quick become when you add the suffix L-Y? What? Quickly. Quickly. Q U I T K L Y. Quietly. Q U I T. Good job. Yes. S U D D E N L Y. Suddenly. So it's sudden plus the suffix sudden. of suddenly. Suddenly. Okay. So you understand. I think this. We'll go down. Find text evidence. Read this part. I, mm -hmm. I see the word innovative on page 79 of dollars and cents. I see the word in for in work hands on page 27 of dollars and science. Mm -hmm. This word Innovative. Innovative. Mm, good job. Looking at its word parts, I see the root word innovate. In the all in the mix. So looking at its word parts, I see the root word innovate. Innovate. Looking at the world, we have seen the role world in your innovate. Not. And in this sentence, the suffix ive changes a word into an adjective. The suffix if changes a word into an adjective. Ad, uh, adjective. Mm, adjective. Ad, adjective. You know what an adjective is? Adjective. 
What does an what adjective? What is an adjective? It is. Mm, it just. Adjective describes... ADJ. Mm. ADJ. ADJ. What does it describe? Describe. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Mm. Adjective describes a noun. Oh, wow. So like blue shirt. Blue shirt. Uh, blue is an adjective. Yes. Okay, I know. Uh, this will help me to speak more of what inventive means. Mm-hmm. You have to find the root word. And you can look at the suffix. So you see innovate. Innovate mm-hmm. is to do something new or different. Or new or different. So innovative mm-hmm. means this thing, the program is new or different? New. New. Mm -hmm. So, it's a program never seen before. Never seen before. Innovative. Innovative. So, if you do not know what a word means, but you know it has the suffix and you know what the suffix means, it can help you understand what kind of word it means, like what kind of word it is. Is it an adjective? Is it a noun? Is it a verb? And you can understand the meaning. Oh, yeah. Um, ah, let's see. Do you know unicycle? This is what? Unicycle? Bicycle. 